HPJS, you're mad. <laughs> That's crazy. That's like getting Denzel Washington and, and Samuel Jackson in the same room. Is it, yeah? Yeah, views. Wow. Bigger, bigger. Uh, bigger, bigger than that, of course. Yo, it's your boy H. at the source, Harry Pinero, and I'm back on UM for another episode of Assumptions. And this one is a banger. We're in Manchester, but not just anywhere in Manchester. We're in Carrington. The Carrington. And we're here with Manchester United Football Club and Adidas to speak to Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw, and <laughs> Jaden Sancho. <laughs> I'm not joking, by the way. <laughs> How are you, Luke, man? I'm very good, how are Looking you? Looking amazing, smelling good. I feel like you did this for me. Nah, I did, I, just, I said it was just for you, wasn't it? My guy. Can't stop smiling. <laughs> JS25, Jaden yeah. Sancho in the building. How you doing today, no, I'm good, man, how are you? You gotta nudge me, man. I'm so happy, man. Uh, I'm, here, happy, I'm happy you're here, man. How you doing today, pal? Oh, good, mate, thank you, yeah. We're not gonna waste no time, I'm great. I don't, Let's not go. every day you get to speak to the captain. Let's, Let's get into it. You are loving the Adidas Man United kits this season, Luke. Yeah, they're really good. They're probably the best ones I've, I've worn. Especially for me, they feel better. Yeah, I can I think see it the way- It just feels better. This one's, a bit, this one's a bit tight. one just to show that you're nah, wet this, one, this one's a bit tight, but yeah. this ain't my normal one. But no, nah, definitely, all the lads have been saying they really like the kit. I think the fit, the way that they look, um, all three, I think uh, are really nice kits. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is actually my favorite. In that kit. Okay. So, yeah, it's kind of breezy still. Yeah, this is the one I've been seeing on the adverts and nah, stuff. It's cold, bro. Don't you see that? Yeah, no, nah, let me just get a little feel because this is the all authentic. <laughs> yeah, this is the authentic one. <laughs> Your gas to be playing alongside Rafael Varane. Obviously, really exciting to, to get him at the club and to work alongside him. And I think him coming in will like bolster the defensive unit. You know, he's pretty much won everything. Um, and of course, he's bringing that experience here. We can learn off each other, we can push each other, and, and that's what we want for the club. We want to keep more clean sheets, and the more competition, the better. <laughs> that's not a joke. Look, listen, be very, very afraid when you see them two. Don't play around. <laughs> you haven't stopped smiling since you arrived in Manchester. No, I haven't. I'm just glad to be here, you know, be part of the Red Devils. Come on. And, you know, just be with the, the team and obviously you. Oh, yeah. look, some don't know how deep this relationship is. So, 2018, I saw him in Ibiza and I said, I said, listen, you're coming to United. And he was like, couldn't really say too much, but we're here. Yeah. It took us three years, but we're here yeah, right we're now. We're here, man, we're here. We but how, how's the reception been from the fans and especially the players as well? No, it's been nice, especially, you know, when I made my debut. Yeah. It's been good and obviously the lads, have especially just, you know, been very good with me. They made it easier for me. So in training, you've been letting them know what you're on. Right? No, definitely, 100. They already know. They already know. <laughs> they already know. They already know. They already know. <laughs> Roberto Carlos is your biggest fan. If, for those that don't know, I'm the one that you know called him Lucas the Silver Shoe. Roberto Carlos. <laughs> now you <laughs> heard it. That's why you've seen it on Twitter. No, right. yeah, no. Was See, Luke, this is. Uh, He's, he's even in your comments. Like, but what's it like though to have a legend like that in your comments and showing you praise as well? It was so weird. It was, it was after, I think, the Ukraine game. Yeah. To be honest, I didn't even realise. I seen someone had like tagged me in a photo and like yeah. RLC or something. And yeah. like, it was like, nah, he's commenting on Luke's picture. And then I was like, who's that? And I clicked on it. And then obviously it was him and I was like, nah, this is mad. And then obviously I sent it straight into like my family and yeah. of, of course my friends and like we all couldn't believe it. And obviously I'm going to send him one if he wants it. I don't even know this if he does live or not. On, but, um, he's going to um, send you a shirt signed. But of course, I, I, I obviously want one back Ooh. From, from him, of course, hopefully. There if, he's, if he's okay with that. There's a gaffer. All right, gaffer. <laughs> I heard you're looking for someone. <laughs> Uh, that wasn't very confident laugh, was it? All right, cool, we moved, sorry. You follow Maguire pointing at things on Twitter? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, I've heard, I've seen about the account, uh, I've seen the account because I've seen um, a couple of my group chats, someone's put something in a few times, but no, I don't follow it. Um, but yeah, some of it obviously is it, fun and I think that's what social media is good for, the, yeah. the, the interaction and the, and the banter that you can have. That meme of you, um, I think I don't know who you were speaking to, it might have been your missus or whatever. Yeah. Absolutely hilarious. Have you seen that meme? Yeah, I've seen that meme a lot of times. I think I think still to this day I still get tagged in it quite a lot of people making new ones up, but yeah, it was a it was a, it's, a, it's a funny one. Yeah. The Prem is going to see some serious Sancho sauce this season. Yeah, I'm just gonna just keep playing my game. I'm not gonna change what I've what I've been doing over in Germany. So just gotta bring it here and hopefully I can show the fans what what I can deliver on. You know when you get that first goal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's different, it's different. No, it's, it's over, it's over, it's different. It's Remember to look out for me, because I know you've got yeah, a bag for at sure, home for sure, for sure, for sure, 100%. I want, I want one of those celebrations, you know them? <laughs> them ones in the crowd, you get me? Confirm. Now listen, I don't think this is an assumption. This, for me, this is a fact. Luke Shaw, eight out of 10 performances every week. I always feel like I can do better, of course. I think I had a, a really good chat with, obviously, Ollie 
You know, I, I talk a lot with, with Harry as well, obviously, not you, the, the captain. Cool, that was a good um, one. And we always, we always have a, <laughs> a good chat about, you know, keeping the levels high. Consistency for me is key. You know, I'm getting older, more mature and more experienced that it's time to, you know, step up, step up on a high level and perform consistently. No one has looked cooler in a Man United shirt than Eric Cantona. Yeah, he's, he's the, the real icon and yeah, of course, I think you can see him now on some of the adverts that still come out, he's still really cool and yeah, when he, when he, when he was at this club and the way that he um, progressed this club and pushed this club even further than what it is, yeah, he's a, he's a big legend of this club. He obviously looked very cool in it, but I think if there was one guy that probably could, you'd probably know who it is. You Me. play like him. Yeah. I, 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 look, I think look, have to, if, if someone, it would, it would have to be Paul, I think. Can we just clip that you play like him? Because I need to get that on replay. I said you, th I said you think that. No, no, no. I said, you said you played that. That's what he said. We'll we got, to, we got we'll look, look back, look back. You play like him. No one has looked cooler in the United shirt than Eric Cantona. Than Eric Cantona? Yeah. Oh, I'm here now. So. Oh, yay! That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Who? The shirt sale's gone to the roof now. Uh, Do you get me? Yeah, nah, it's all right, man. Listen, things have changed. Obviously, King Eric was the guy. No, nah, he's, he's but, still but, the guy. He's still the nah, guy. No, he is, he is, but you're the guy now. I wouldn't say I'm the guy yet. But, but I'm, I'm telling you now. I'm saying it now. You don't say it. I'm saying it. I'm your microphone. I'll say it. You're the guy. I love that. You see confidence. Woo! Your head is actually not that massive. True. Yeah. Let me look. It's just. I Camera think tricks. winning all the headers and, and, and scoring the goals in the World Cup is the one that caused that, but. Yeah. For the size of my body, I'd say it's, in, it's definitely in proportion. Mason Greenwood is a nightmare to play against in training. Nah. Oh. <laughs> what is he? In, I'll be honest, no. In the pocket? Nah. Talk to me. I ask him. You that. can ask him. If you ever speak to him, ask him. He hates, he, he hates coming up against me. Obviously so young, but so refreshing. He's got everything, every attribute to, to keep pushing on and, and keep improving. I think he, you've seen he can play down the right, but he's played down the middle as well. The talent he's got is so scary. It's unbelievable. I think he'll be one of the most talked about you know, players in the world in the next two or three years. I think the, the hardest thing in training is that you can't give him a yard. Because if you give him a yard, it ends up in the back of the net. He's finishing. Is, is that good. In the five side, you always want him on your team because he's always one of the top goal scorers. You can't wait to link up with Mason and Marcus in attack. That's going to be a crazy link up Yeah. when Marcus gets back. And obviously I've just seen a bit of, a bit of Mason recently in training and he's, he's crazy. We're still getting to know each other, obviously movements and things like that. Let's get to know our understanding, but yeah, it's going to be crazy obviously when all three of us are on the pitch. The Euros were the best five weeks of your life. Yeah, definitely one of them. Yeah. Um, a great journey. Um, I think obviously if we won it, I would have said the best, but mm. yeah, it's disappointing in the end to, look, to lose on penalties, to come so close and to go so far and um, not get it over the line is, is disappointing. But yeah, I think the way that we, we brought the country together and put smiles on people's faces and made memories and that's what football is all about. I think so. I think. Obviously, the best day of my life was obviously when my son was born. So I can't, there you go. I, I can't. Shout out to I the can't say that. That's but, um, an man. We're fathers. But, yeah, I know, I know. but the yeah, the experience was 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 the yeah, like you said, the best five weeks of of my life. I think in in my job in in football. I would I would say so. Yeah, um, it was it was a big big stage for me. It was my first major tournament, obviously, with my national team, but also a, a, a biggest one of my biggest downs. Because obviously, obviously, the missing a penalty and then receiving obviously the racial abuse, but um, yeah, the, the team were fantastic over the, the the month we were there, and you know, yeah, it was just a great feeling to have our you know playing in front of our home crowd and you know obviously the, the man them like you supporting, so it, it, it's just, it's a good feeling, man. David, chill out, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like crying on camera. You know, it's, what a, it's a good feeling. Thing. It's a good feeling, definitely. So yeah. yeah. And the bounce back from you guys as well was amazing as well. I think um, you lot are young lads and especially yeah. to be put in that place and to still be strong and come out yeah. where you've come out. Credit to you guys. No, I appreciate it. Shout out to the man, Is that the Fletch? Yes, lads, right? That's happening, mate. It's lost to it's gone. Stop <laughs> oh, wait, well, you couldn't even get out of the group stages. <laughs> What's happening with him? You couldn't get out of the group stages. Where was Scotland? Yeah. <laughs> Let's be in a little hater there. But yeah, uh, he loved it really. He said he celebrated my goal actually, so just for the Scotland fans out there, he celebrated my goal. Did you know, do you remember how you celebrated? Yeah. Not, not remember, but I, I didn't really celebrate, did I? <laughs> I just ran off say. like that. I'm not used to scoring <laughs> goals, I don't have a celebration. But you're a good finisher though. Matt Hitch actually, the man you're Matt Hitch actually texted me before the game going, score a goal. 
Yeah. Tonight she scored and he was like, oh, it's because of me, it's because of me. <laughs> Oli is building something special at United. Yeah, of course, I'm going to say true. I feel like over the last couple of years, we've mm. we've progressed so much to, to where we was two years ago, to, to where we are now in terms of um, winning football matches, but also um, on and off the field and, and the way that we dominate games now. You, you can see we, we want to be um, have a lot of territory in games, create chances, score goals. If we improve like we have done over the last two years, over the next year or two, we, we'll be where we want to be. All right, the class of 2021 will win the Prem one day. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, of course. Come on. Yeah. What, what's it like? Obviously, you, you see them every day play football. And, and, and what's your views on how their, their growth is? Because it is very scary how young they are and how, and how good they are. It's mad and I think, of course, they're growing day in, day out, and I think it helps them with, with being at a club like this. You know, they're not just growing as a footballer on the pitch. I think mentally off it, they're, they're, they're growing, they're, they're maturing, they're, they're learning what this club's about. Mm. The world's at, at their feet, but I think, of course, the, what, what a lot of people don't realise is, you know, the pressures and expectations that come with a massive club like this. And I think, of course, good for them, they're learning it at mm. such a young age. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, when, when they are older and hopefully, like you said, win, win that league, then, you know, they've experienced it all. England will win the 2022 World Cup. We have a great squad to win it. Yes. I'm not going to say we're going to win it because that's a bit, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to like toot your own. Nah, we're not, yeah. we're not like that. Um, we take it game by game and I think that's the best way it can be, just take it game by game. We've got the World Cup qualifiers coming up, so hopefully we can win that, be top of the group and, you know. But of course it's tournament football, so you never yeah. know what, what can happen, you know, injuries, whatnot. So. Like I said, don't look too far ahead, but the confidence is, of course, and should be very high, uh, and obviously one to look forward to. Yeah, why not? Um, I'm not going to say no. I think we have great belief that we've obviously gone to a semi-final, a yeah. final. Uh, we, we all know the next step. Um, it's going to be tough, of course, um, in Qatar and um, the, the climate change and um, the scenery, but. There's so many good teams now, in, in, especially in the world. So it's going to be tough, but we have a great squad, great talent. Spending that much time together, is, it, it really brought out the best of us. Everyone's bros. Everyone's, everyone's bros, literally. Yeah. Even with the coaches, so it's actually yeah. kind of crazy. Shout to coaches, the bro coaches. <laughs> you get me? Every, everyone's got their, their, their close friends at the camp, so it's good. I think if we progress like we have done over the last two years, um, over the next 18 months, I, I think we, we, we have a great chance. And, of course, we're not going to be looking at the World Cup and be thinking, let's reach the quarter-final. We're, we're going to be looking at it and, yeah, let's go win it. Yeah, we've gone semi-final, final and... <laughs> Boy, <laughs> hey! From you to Harry. Oh, is it for me? All right, you know what? This needs to be signed. Bow. That's it guys, that was Assumptions. A massive, massive thank you to Manchester United Football Club and Adidas. Make sure you subscribe to more content coming your way. As you guys can see, my hands are full with signed shirts from Rafa Varane and Luke Shaw. <laughs> we are winning. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs>